can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f**ks, but I am telling you right now, that m that m back there is not real. This is Fijimana, so I'm going to brainstorm a bit about this crazy plane lady is what they're calling her because she was on this plane freaking out about someone that was sitting next to her and it sounded like she was saying something like he was not real and she had to get off the plane for her safety and she was panicking and freaking out about this person sitting next to her. So, look, she almost got arrested that day. The police thought she was intoxicated possibly so they interviewed her and they were trying to see what was actually going on and told her like to leave the premises basically leave the airport go home they were going to charge her with intoxication and now she's came forward and she's saying well she's trying to walk back her statements about what happened that day she's trying to act like well it was just her cousin that was sitting next to her and she's saying some stuff like well, her cousin stole her headphones or something and she got upset. So, I mean, would that make you call your cousin not real? You know, and I'm not even sure if I believe what she's saying now because it sounds like her life has kind of down spiraled ever since that event because, you know, it's kind of pressure on her to correct her actions that day because you know i'm sure she has a job possibly and you know her friends and family all seen that video with her freaking out and she sounds crazy now trying to explain what happened if she continues to stick with her original storyline about she's saying that the person sitting next to her wasn't real so you know with her trying to maybe get new jobs or you know her professional life and stuff like that she's really in a position to where she kind of has to correct what happened she said everyone kind of freaks out sometimes and so she's saying the only real difference is that she freaked out online and you know it went viral so she's saying everyone has their moments but it's not usually captured on video and put online like that so look I want to know your opinion. Do you think there was anything to that story maybe deeper than what she's trying to say now? Because, I mean, it sounded real strange about her saying there was a person next to her that's not real. Now, I did get a report from someone who was said to be on that plane as well. And they were saying kind of like the same thing. It was like they were confirming what she was saying. I'm going to play a clip to what another passenger said. Here it goes. And then the last thing was like nothing else really happened on the plane. I just noticed, which now again, looking back, it, this is just kind of strange to me. The guy never once said anything to anyone the entire flight, not even the flight attendant, didn't ask for anything. He didn't have headphones, never pulled out a phone, didn't have a computer, wasn't reading anything, didn't watch the TV in front of him. He just like sat there frozen the entire fucking flight. Now, pretty sure okay, so that guy that you know just made that report he's saying that the dude didn't have headphones now i obtained this audio clip and there's actually footage too about a month ago because all this happened about a month ago so this was before she came out with her statement that she's talking about that was her cousin next to her and that he had stole her headphones and she got upset so this guy specifically said he saw the guy that she was talking about and she the dude didn't have headphones on so the stories aren't adding up now and so originally i was going to suspect maybe she was having some type of uh psychotic breakdown maybe something like schizophrenia where they say you can hear voices and see weird things and really i've done a video on that before i might have to make a playlist because my opinion is that some of those um, reports about schizophrenia could actually be demonic possession. So I was speculating that is it possible that this woman was demonically possessed and maybe she was the one seeing weird stuff, possibly. A lot of people thought she might be on something and seeing things, but I don't really recall any type of thing you can take to where you're going to be 
seeing things like that i mean to me that would sound more like a condition like like i said schizophrenia or something which like i said is most likely sometimes the amount of possession but now with that witness coming forward and I, like i said i got this audio clip of that witness and there's also footage of him and if anyone could confirm that that guy was really on the plane with her well that's a witness that's saying that he saw that dude acting strange also that was sitting next to her so that leaves us with well we would have to rule out that this was a psychotic breakdown now we'd have to rule out that this is some type of schizophrenia now we have to go into the conclusions that there might have actually been a strange individual sitting next to her and she sounded pretty terrified and like this witness said he wasn't looking at anyone it was like he was looking just straight ahead the whole flight now a flight can be like easily an hour sometimes even more so let's say that the flight was maybe an hour and a half or two hours okay so that means that this guy was on the plane just looking straight ahead the guy said he had no headphones he didn't talk to anyone he was just sitting there that's not normal i mean who does that you think about it i mean on a bus or something people might go into this blank stare or something sometimes but it's not really the whole flight now this guy you know he was alarmed I'm, I'm i'm sure when that woman freaked out and he must have been kind of trying to see what she was freaking out about and he must have you know been trying to confirm this for himself and he's reporting that he saw this guy not acting normal you know he wasn't acting normal now i did hear reports that this could have been some type of strange humanoid that was on the plane in the image of a human but you know what really was this person nobody acts like what they're describing this guy was um behaving like on that plane just sitting there motionless no no emotions at all just sitting there not moving his head just looking straight ahead and you know that just doesn't sound right that sounds very disturbing actually now i did a review on the secret invasion which is kind of like a play on the v series you know and there's other movies like they live where it's kind of similar to as well where they depict in these movies that there could be people amongst us that look like humans but they're not and so my take on that is that this could be actually something that they're on to this is actually a possibility and i suspect it would be people in big media like our news anchors and the leaders in charge of this world you know the authority figures a lot of them a lot of the judicial system I, i'm feeling like there could be people that you know they're not really people though they they're actually i would suspect have they would have something to do with the fallen ones some form of nephilim type people that aren't giants though and they look like me and you you know they look like regular humans but they're not and they might even be wearing masks now i did hear reports that there is um a group of people that they kind of live underneath the earth they might live beneath the earth and you know they come up they, they live amongst us as well above the earth on the surface level as well and I'm hearing that they don't actually look like how they present themselves. So what I'm hearing is they actually wear realistic looking mask. And so that's interesting. There's also talks about shapeshifters who know how to present themselves as humans. And so there's some very disturbing information about um, humanoid beings walking amongst us and no one would ever really know or suspect that they're not humans but really you can see little glimpses and signs that they're not humans when people have caught their eyes changed into like lizard like eyes and then back to normal or they might have their throat blowed out like a frog 
and you know they might have other signs that you could suspect them as not being actually humans and that really would explain a lot and it would actually start to confirm the bible you know it looks like we're not living in the world that we think we're living in and if these things are amongst us and from what i'm hearing they can't leave the earth either so they're stuck down here with us they're trying to blend in and they're deceivers because they're presenting themselves as humans and they have the ability to actually fool the you know the common person most people would not suspect that these humanoids are something else you know so however they're doing it they're able to walk amongst us undetected which is very disturbing so let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section i'm gonna leave some links for you if you want to do more research with me i'm also going to leave links to my other channels my social media my feed your mind store my free email newsletters and much more if you would like to support this channel please donate as little as a dollar to help keep this channel online thanks for tuning in Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind, signing off.